Hi. It's, it's been a while. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I've been busy doing things. And uh, on this project, I, as the world's been shut down, I, I kind of wanted to jump into trying to make a really cool playlist track. And look, I made a really cool playlist track. Play playlist, playlist track. And uh, yeah, so I can click on each note. And you'll see each note also has a letter, so I can see which one it is. And it's corresponded to this scale over here, which I can click and be like, I want to see what this sounds like. So that's pretty neat. I can move the note around left and right according to its quantization, of course, because that's uh, this one's on one eighth notes, so that's why it kind of snaps like that. These ones are on sixteenth notes, so it gives me a little bit more range. Actually, I don't know. Actually, I don't know why it's doing that. It should give me more range. What about this one? Yeah, okay. So that gives me more range. You can see it's a little bit less increment. Um, You'll also see the links, since everything's linked together, I have to like kind of adjust. If I move one over, you'll see it moves the whole thing. Um, I'll make a thing later to be able to shift it, so that way it kind of nudges and is a little bit better at that. But for now, this is kind of what I'm working with just to, as a start, just to see if it's even good. The other thing too, I can shift the note up and down as well, of course. And then I can also preview all this stuff. So I can, I'll break the link here and then uh, so you can see I can change it to like an F and then back to an E. I can also change the timing and you'll see it right away. And that just makes, that just makes iteration so much faster. It's crazy. Uh, this right here took me about an hour to set up. The last thing that I showed you took me about eight hours to set up. And it was just the, it, the biggest issue I've had so far is none of this has been fun to set up. And now... I think this will be a lot better and I'm, I'm hoping it will be and also just being able to like open up and get a good visual as to like what's even happening with the music is really cool. Um, I don't know where I'm going to go with this project but we'll see. Uh, so I guess I'll just play the whole thing in a loop for you just so you can kind of see the whole thing going and here we go. It's pretty neat just to be able to watch it all go, and uh, like on the fly, I can make changes. Uh, this one, I'm kind of I'm, I'm liking the way it is, and then I also have a second graph I can activate. Now let's see if I can do this. Yeah. And you'll see this also gets reflected on the second part. I can color code these later, but oh, see. so. One of the biggest issues I have so far, you can see when I'm right clicking and doing all this in here, everything just pauses. And that's because editor tick pauses um, when you're interacting with UI, which is a huge problem in my case when I'm trying to like save time by not having to always simulate to edit these things on the fly. Uh, that might get better as we go, but this is a big issue. And you can see just by doing this, I'm pretty out of sync now because this one's in one eighth notes and this one's in one sixteenth notes. So it kind of just sometimes it can get out of sync. So I'll kill that and we'll just do that and I'll also kill this. So yeah, that's the that's where I'm at with this project. I've done a lot more too since the last update, um, which you can see is like the I have like actual piano sounds. I have uh, I've done like a a sample library type setup so each thing has like a, a whole entire sample library of different sounds so that's a lot different from what I had before yeah, I used to have like one sound and now I have multiples all broken up so that's that's probably one of the biggest difference and then they're uh, velocity driven too so I have like a soft piano and then a medium and a hard you can see there's like slight differences in the sounds, but it's enough that like you can actually switch. And if I was actually playing on the keyboard, you would um, you would switch be between that based on the velocities. So yeah, uh, that's that's it. That's that's where it's at. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'm excited to actually move forward with this thing even more. As usual, I'm always excited about this thing. But it's cool to now kind of have a little bit more fun, if not a lot more fun, actually setting up the the stupid notes so yeah have a good rest of your day bye bye stay healthy